Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on January 5th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for tuning in to Morning Dew. This is your Daily Dew, where I talk about space weather, weather, and also any other disaster that affects our planet, giving you disaster alerts as they happen. And if you got the disaster alert earlier for the 6.8 earthquake in Brazil, I talked about the plasma filament that ripped away from the sun. So this is what we're looking at here. Southern regions, and also looking at a sunspot region, pretty active sunspot. But that filament eruption definitely came our way. And I would have released this video a couple days ago and given everybody a heads up and a warning for South America, South Sandwich Islands, and Alaska. And sure enough, we had all of the seismic activity in those regions. So the Dis Pacific Disaster Center here, we're just looking at all the disasters from around the world and our planet is riddled with all sorts of things from extreme heat to extreme cold, volcanic eruptions, and this large earthquake in Brazil, Taraca, Brazil, 6.8, at a very deep 575 kilometer depth. Watching high winds and winter storms moving into northwestern parts of the United States and southwest. Watching cold temperatures definitely invading the United States. These regions are not used to that much snow and cold temperatures. Cold temps all the way down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. So, in regards to the plasma filament that I was showing you, I also wanted to show you our magnetosphere. So this here is a magnetospheric map that is created to show how the solar wind stream goes around our planet. So our planet is that little black dot, and the, the half black side is the nighttime, dark side of our planet. But if you look behind our planet there, in the backdraft. I mean, there are a lot of strange anomalies happening right now with our magnetosphere. There's proof now that it has collapsed, but you can see behind in that blue area, the swirl of energy, but also the energy that is going to the backside of our planet. What is doing that? I don't know. But I wanted to show you our magnetospheric map before this cosmic weather comes from the plasma filament. And you'll see the difference. So under this image, you can really see the plasma filament that erupted from the south part of the sun and headed in our direction, and it even created a solar tsunami that headed straight up to the equator of the sun. You can see that here. But yes, during my daily research, I've learned and seen so much now, and yes, our sun is dead quiet. And during that time, we have a collapsed magnetosphere. But during my research, I always get to see stuff like this as well. Now this is a look at our sun through the LASCO 2 image. And right there, the top right side of the sun, is Saturn going by with all of its moons. 12 or 13 of them. And we've been watching that go from one side to the other side and away from our sun. But we definitely have an alignment here coming up as well. Saturn, Jupiter, Earth, and Venus. So watch for a seismic uptick. And earlier in my live stream today, I talked about January 15th. So 
please stay aware and prepared and pay attention to January 15th because I think our planet will be affected. Every nation, all of humanity. Morning do daily events worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Also watching space weather because it does affect everything on our planet. It creates our weather and creates earthquakes. And our sun is dead quiet. And we've, talk up, we've talked about the grand solar minimum before on this channel. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and check out what they are not telling you. Another look at these plasma filaments. Just beautiful images of our sun coming out of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Now here is another, um, this is a solar wind prediction app here through NOAA and it shows from the 3rd to the 6th and it's now the 5th. So definitely we saw this solar wind stream, the green area, heading towards Earth. So this was two days ago that I had recorded it. After I saw the plasma filament eruption, you could see that large green area to the right of our sun and also the yellow and red on this map. So that is cosmic energy slapping our planet, creating seismicity around the world. 6.8 in Brazil, 6.1 in Alaska. So stay aware and prepared folks and stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide as I am an Earth Watcher and I like to keep people and humanity aware and prepared for these large events that are happening across the planet. Much love to you all. Prayers for humanity. Another map I wanted to show you here is also to do with our magnetosphere. So this is what it looked like before the energy came to Earth. This is the density, or sorry, the pressure. This is the pressure. This is the density of our wind stream. And we had a small effect there and that was in between solar wind streams affecting us. But now things are going to change drastically as you'll see in the later clips. This here is the density, or velocity, sorry. So the wind speed. So when it starts to get red, that's when it's gonna be over 600 or close to 600 kilometers per second. And you can see here today, an updated version of this magnetospheric movie. This is what it looks like now definitely being affected by space weather. So there is a geomagnetic storm watch in effect for our planet. So stay aware and prepared. And thank you for tuning in to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please share this channel with your friends and family. As things are changing drastically around the planet and mainstream media is not going to tell you everything. can see here this is the pressure now it has changed dramatically from when I showed you earlier so we've got increased pressure we've got increased wind speeds and density has increased as well so a lot of cosmic charged particles penetrating our atmosphere over Africa yesterday there was a sighting of a fireball and they've been seen increasingly more often around the world. Lots of videos coming out. So let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. 6.8, 575 kilometer depth in South America. Tanaga Volcano, Alaska. So we have another volcano erupting. So now there's 44 actively erupting volcanoes from around the world. Indonesia going off today 5.0 but we've seen a dramatic increase 
and earthquakes in this region, South America, North America, and Atlantic Plate. And I was expecting this after I saw that large plasma filament. I would have put out a warning, but I've been very busy. As I said in the live stream, life is very busy. So looking around the world, Albania popping off a 4.8 yesterday. 4.2 in Iran as well. But still quiet zone, North America. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. We've seen things increase quickly over the last 48 hours. And it almost looks like Earth is bursting at our scene, right in the center. Things are, we're expanding, we're shrinking, we're being whacked by space weather, we're being rocked by tectonic plate movement. This is all cycles, people, and we need to stay aware and prepared. And some need to move away from coastlines. Let's start with our five-day forecast. Coastlines, here we go. We've got one, two low-pressure systems crashing into the Pacific Ocean, or from the Pacific Ocean. Still, semi-Chinook Arch not allowing any moisture to fall here in Calgary, but it's definitely cold temps. We've also got a large nor'easter heading towards the Atlantic provinces. It's going to bring a large mixed bag of precipitation. Watch for freezing rain on the backside of this storm and then snow again. So that will be a wintry mess. And then they converge later in the week. Also watching a Mediterranean storm develop, bringing snow and cold temperatures to part of Kuwait, Pakistan, Snowfall in the higher elevations of Iran. Wow. Tropical depression heading towards Bangladesh and the Maya, Thailand. Also watching two cyclone developing, cyclones developing, well still, uh, northeastern parts of Australia, as well as the Fiji Islands and another tropical depression forming here in the Pacific Ocean. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.